Come on, y'all. Welcome to Real Praise with Leisha behind the scenes. That's ready. All right. We about to do this. Uh oh. <laughs> Y'all ready? It's time. Let's get real, y'all. Ooh. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good Sunday morning to you. You are tuned in to Real Praise with Leisha. That's me. And we are getting real this morning, restored elevated, affirmed, and liberated as we get ready to receive everything God has in store for us today. So I've got just one question for you. Are you ready to be real? <laughs> oh, I hope you are. I hope you are. We've got great music, great inspiration, the church check-in, and so, so, so much more. Yes, I'm excited about today. I've got a lot to talk about, but I want to start off our morning because, you know, there's a little rain here in Jacksonville, and I don't know what the weather is where you are, but you know what? We have the light of the of the Lord inside of us, amen, and so we're going to start our day brighter. Uh-huh. We're going to start our day bright. It doesn't matter what the weather looks like outside. It matters what's on the inside of us and let our letting our light so shine before men that they might glorify our Father in heaven. So we're going to start off our morning with dough and brighter right here on the Ultimate Gospel Experience. Praise 107.9. I like though. I like her. And I got turned down so they don't uh turn off my thing. But good morning. Good morning, Brian. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. And y'all, welcome to Real Praise with Leisha behind the scenes. We got a whole bunch, a whole bunch happening around here. I got a lot to talk to y'all about. Um, but uh I am grateful to God for this day, for being here, and I'll tell you why in just a moment, because um, it wasn't, uh, hold on, y'all, do this, there we go, Um, I had a lot happening, good morning to you, thank you so much for hanging out with me, hold on, y'all, Something is happening with my screen here. Anyway, <laughs> good morning, good morning. I trust you're doing well this morning. I trust uh, that uh, the Lord has been good to you. As a matter of fact, I already know he has been good to you. You know how I know? Because you're here. Hallelujah. You are here. We are here to give God a real praise on today, and and I am praising the Lord real heavy this morning um, because the Lord is good. He really is. And um, I kind of... So there's some things going on with me health-wise. Um, I was in the hospital for two days this past week. I was debating whether or not to share just because, you know, as, you know, we don't want to talk about the times that we're down. Um, but I know that, that God is doing something different in me and I'm, and I'm looking forward to what he's going to teach me in this space. Right. Um, but I am, I am grateful, um, to be here. Hallelujah. <laughs> to be here. Um, with you to be able to share God with you and, and praise him and bless him 
and honor him because of what he's doing in my life and speak to places that, um, you know, sometimes we just, not that I take for granted my health. I don't because I got a lot of things going on with me anyway, right? <laughs> I just I just know that off of GP. There's just a lot of things going on. But um what I am uh grateful for this morning is um even in the in the not knowing um let me go back. I was frustrated, right? I was frustrated this past week. Excuse me because I was not well. I wasn't feeling well in my body. And it caused me to be down this week. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm still not where I should be, but I'm grateful that I am uh, not where I was <laughs> earlier this week. Um, but the whole situation left me frustrated because I didn't know what was wrong with me right? I didn't know what was going on. Good morning, Miss Anita. Listen, I'm grateful that I'm here because there were a couple times it was, and it was just me. It wasn't, you know, anything else. I was just like, Lord, I don't know what's happening. And they don't seem to know what's happening, which made me frustrated with the process. I, yesterday, I was so frustrated. I was like, if y'all don't let me out this hospital, y'all don't know what's wrong. Y'all are guessing at this point. And everybody come in here, say something different. And then there's a whole bunch of I don't knows. But even outside of my frustration, I know that God is a healer. And, and God can heal me from whatever infirmity was in my body. Good morning, Dabs. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Listen, beyond anything else, anything I could say, do, think, or whatever. I know who God is, even in my frustrating moments. And you know, there's nothing wrong with being frustrated. We are human and frustration happens. But what I can do past that, listen, I'm, I'm praising God this morning. I'm praising God this morning because I'm here. Like I wasn't going to come. I was like, mm -mm, this too much. So let me just go back. Uh, one more time. So they're saying I have vestibular vertigo. And listen, all y'all who've ever had vertigo, listen, I am praying this. I don't want none of this. Now, there were some other things going on, but that was what they landed on, I think. Uh, we'll see. I looked at the paperwork. It's still unclear. But the thing that I am clear about <laughs> on this Sunday morning as we are 28 days away from hashtag agree 43. I know that my God, my Father, the one who spoke the world into existence, is speaking into me even now. And he is reminding me who he is, that he is a healer, he is a deliverer, he is a way maker, he is a miracle worker, he is all of the things that I need and more. So even in my frustration of not knowing exactly what is wrong with me, not being able to pinpoint a thing and then being able to, you know, uh, do a thing outside of the medicine they keep trying to give me. Listen, <laughs> y'all, they kept trying to give me stuff and I was asking why they were giving it to me. And then there was a whole bunch of, I don't know, the doctor just put it on here, but why? Like, I wasn't trying to be ornery. I just want to know, you know, what I'm putting in my body, not trying to be, you know, any kind of way. But uh, y'all give me all this random stuff. Can you tell me why, though? Just saying. Uh, but at the end of the day, greater than the doctor, greater than the hospital, greater than my infirmity, is the God who spoke the world into existence. The God who uh, is healing me even now. He is repairing the things that are uh, that aren't like him. He is fixing the places that uh, are out of order. And so this morning I'm praising God 
for life, health, and strength. I'm praising God that, you know, when I look to the left, I don't get dizzy anymore. I know that might sound tiny or trivial, but listen, for a couple of days there, if I look left, my whole body was like, whoa, where we going? <laughs> what we doing right now? Don't look over there. Ain't nothing over there to see. You know what I'm saying? But God, but God, even through the medicine, even through the doctors, even through my frustration is healing me even now. And so I am giving God a great praise. And y'all, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I didn't want to miss out on the commercials. Let's be frank. I'm not really interested in the game. I mean, I think it'll be a good game because these are, you know, kind of underdogish teams, right? And so I think it'll be a good game because they both, you know, like, hey, we got to do this. However, <laughs> I'm here for the uh, commercials and halftime show. I'm going to watch the game. If it's real good, I might sit and watch it. But just being honest, I'm here for the commercials. <laughs> so I'm grateful that I'll be able to sit down with my family and watch the Super Bowl and eat some wings and uh, give God a real praise for these commercials that people spend a whole bunch of money on for 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. I know that might sound little, but listen, after, after this past week, I, I started getting sick on Tuesday. So I've been in some kind of way um, like all week. But I am here today to give God a good praise, a real praise, to give him the glory and honor because he is more than do it. Tia said, uh, keep praising him, hallelujah, and yes, vertical can be scary. My potassium was low. Okay. But I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Tia. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll check in that potassium. I right, listen. What I uh I don't want to do that again. Praise God that he keeps us grounded and gives us our footing. Yes. I've been praying for holistic healing. You are healed. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am praising God even now for my healing, even though, you know, it is at, yet at work in me. <laughs> and there are some things that I got to do, but I am grateful to God for his healing. I am grateful to God. I am really like, I've been really frustrated because I didn't know what to do, how to do it. You know, they're saying stuff I ain't never heard before, using acronyms. And, uh, you know, I really had to pray in there. Not just for me, though. Like, I was I was praying for the, the healthcare workers, right? Because they, they were so overworked. Like, I was trying not to be that patient, you know, that just demanded a whole bunch of stuff. But, you know, I had to call them all the time. Like, if I need to get out of bed or, you know, go do anything and um you know i was trying to wait and hold out because you know it's a lot happening <laughs> but uh at the end of the day praying for the healthcare workers because they're going through a lot praying for um those who need healing there were so many there were so many codes there were only so many code blues y'all while i was there excuse me just a lot like, I was praying for real. Not that I don't. Anyway, but you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you're in a situation where prayer is necessary and needed just for your own sake and sanity, I was in there. I was in there praying real hard. And so um, today in, in, in praying and praising, um, I would encourage you to continue to pray for the things that you're seeking God for and praise him even before it happens. Bless him that you're able to experience this space because it's moving us closer to him. It is is pushing us into a place uh, of destiny that we've never uh, seen or experienced before. So my encouragement is to pray and praise. Let that be your cycle. Pray and praise. Pray and praise. Pray and praise. That is our cycle uh, that we need to be in because 
it'll shift our focus from whatever we're experiencing into a place of of next and a place of growth and a place of uh we don't even understand how we are uh joyful in this space and we'll talk about it in a second hold on y'all <clears throat> Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to that level next right there with Jumpy Key. Before that, we heard uh, Fred Jerkins featuring Lowell Pie, patiently praising, and uh, start off our morning with Doe and Brighter. Listen, y'all, I am on social media live right now. I'm on Facebook and Instagram live right now. Type in Real Praise or Real Praise with Leisha. Come on in the room, join the conversation. I would love to see you over there. We are talking about some things going on. I had some health issues this past week and I'm talking about kind of uh how God is bringing me through it. I'm not out the woods yet, but hey, I'm I'm com- there's a path that I'm coming steadily through these woods. So let's talk about it and let's talk about how God is healing, how God is delivering. Let's give him a real praise on this morning, all right? Amen. Amen. All right. So we've got more great music on the way. Kiara Shear, Tori Kelly, and more right here on the Ultimate Gospel Experience where praise 107.9. Hold on, y'all. Let me put in uh, Miss Eleanor's song because I know she's going to call me and ask me for it, right? Because I know my listeners. I know that she's going to call. She's going to need to hear uh, Kirk Franklin, little baby. We win. So let me go ahead and put that on. Hold on just one second, y'all. Doom, 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 doom. There we go. Boom. All right. Song's in. I got a few minutes. All right. So talking about praying and praising, right? Talking about giving God uh, his due. Talking about uh, making sure that we're in in line with him. Making sure that we're praising him in the process. That we are doing what we need to do to be in, in the way. And... So I'm going to ask you to do something for me, and I'd like you to put it in the chat if you are available, uh, whether you're watching it live or watching the replay. I want to know what you're praising God for today. What are you praising God for today? Even though you might not be seeing it, there's something you're standing in the need of. There's something that um, God is requiring of you, but you have to go through a particular process. So I'm asking you, even now, to type it in the chat. Let's praise God with you for the outcome. I'm praising God for my healing from all of the things that are going on. Listen, my my health journey um, is real. Quite honestly, has been very challenging because there's been a lot of, I don't know. I don't know why you're experiencing this. I don't know why you're going through this. I don't know. Your numbers and levels look good. You're doing so much better. Okay, but tell me why all of these other things are happening. Uh, We don't know. That is so incredibly frustrating. That is so, like, it can be overwhelming at times if I focus on that part. But today, I make my resolve to praise God for my healing, that I am healed, and I am going to walk it out as though I am healed. I'm going to do the things necessary to make sure that I remain in healing. But I am healed. I am whole. And so I praise God for that this morning. So what are we praising God for you this morning? What are we saying this morning that God is doing for you in your life? I am praying, praising God today for being 
and pray. Thank you. He is a forgiving God. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Ha, yes, he is. Good morning, Salatio. I am listen. Hallelujah. We praise God for healing on this morning. Yes, Lord. Because he is a healing God. We know he can heal, he can save, he can deliver because we've seen it before in our own lives. We've seen him do it. And so we stand on his word and we stand in that place. Hallelujah. We bless you, God, for being a healer. Thank you, God, for being a forgiving God. Because listen, <laughs> yeah, I'd be messing up. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'd be messing it up <laughs> a whole bunch more than I'd like to uh, uh, admit. But I praise God that he is a forgiving God, that he is the kind of God I can trust my heart and my feelings to, that he's the God I can trust with my body when the doctors don't know what's wrong with me, or even when they do know what's wrong, but they don't know what to do for what's wrong. That's a weird place to be. It's a weird thing to feel all through here, but you know what? I serve an amazing God. We serve an amazing God. And we can praise him for these places and spaces. We can give him glory for the things that we have not yet seen. Because we know the kind of God that he is. Right? We know him to be a deliverer. We know him to be a way maker. We know him to be a provider. We know him to be all of these things, to be our everything. Praising God for leading me on multiple paths. I'm walking down these days. Listen, life will throw you some curveballs. It'll, it'll, it'll forks in the road, not just a fork, not just the, you know, this way, that way. It's like, ooh, okay, which one? <laughs> Jesus. And he'll lead you down this way, and then you got to uh, cut across the field and go down this. Listen, I praise God for, uh, listen, I praise God for his direction. Huh? We praise him for his direction and his leading. We're praising God for restoration. Amen. Hey, listen, you know that's the R in real. Restoration, elevation, affirmation, and liberation. We thank him for the process. We thank you for the process because something about the process gives us more credence to the, the the our progress. We can look back and see what he's done and how he's done it and how he's made a way and how he's opened doors. And, and when we get to the place where we are restored in a particular area, then we can elevate and God will affirm us in the process as we go through it. He, he affirms us, we affirm ourselves throughout the process and then we're liberated from whatever broke us before. So when that thing pops up again, it can't get us. You know why? Because we've been restored in that area and we, we've we gotten to the point of liberation in that area. So we don't have to worry about. That's what I believe God for my health. I, I'm believing God for being real in my health. I'm believing God for... uh restoration of my health and elevation. He's already done it. I've seen him do it. Listen, I was diagnosed with diabetes in, in uh, 2003. And for many years, I denied it. I discounted it. I didn't do anything about it. But God, uh, when I went to the doctor in 2019, my A1C was 13.3. If you don't know what that means, that means my blood sugars were running uh, three, 400 every day. And that means things in my body weren't working as efficiently as they should be. Now, my A1C is in the normal range. Hallelujah. We bless God for that. It can be better. And I'm working on that my, uh, you know, for myself. But I bless God for restoring me from that mindset that I didn't need to do anything or that I was, you know, it is what it is. Because that's where I was for a while. It is what it is. And I was stressed out, which causes my blood sugars to run higher anyway. So I could have been eating all the salad I wanted to, and my blood sugars were still running high. Why? Because I was stressing. But God is a healer. Hmm? We bless him for that. We're praising God for closing doors that I didn't need to walk through. Yay, God. We bless him for the closed doors, huh? <laughs> Listen. 
we be over here trying to pull doors open, got a foot on the door and everything. <laughs> Just open this, ain't this the door, Jesus? No, it ain't. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for closing doors. <laughs> we didn't need that door. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, we. Oh, we could talk about that. The closed door. Huh? Woo. <laughs> Oh, Lord, we bless him, though. <sighs> we must do our part. Uh, Wait, hold on. Yes, ma'am, we must do our part in the process. God wants to work in partnership with us. Yes, Salatheo. Listen, it's not just, you know, him being a, a magical genie and be like, boop, it's done, boop, it's done. No, there's, we, there's some work we got to do. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it didn't automatically play. All right. We bet. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we absolutely have to play a part in this process. We have work to do. And so we want to make sure that we are um, even in the middle of a situation, even in the middle of a process, recognizing who really is leading us and how he's leading us and learning in the process. Because listen, what I don't want to do <laughs> ever again is um, be out here like, God, what are you doing? Like, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do something else. Been there, done that. Got a couple t-shirts that I need to burn. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to be reminded of it or anything. <laughs> I want to go as God is leading me. I want to make sure that I'm I'm in the way, in his way. And um, doing things properly. Making sure that I'm doing uh, what, what he wants. Because when I do it his way, it's so much better. I might be frustrated, much like I was uh, this past week, and that's fine to be frustrated. But I can sit here today, being less than a day out of the hospital, and thank God for his healing and thank God for the frustrating part of my process because it forced the frustration forced me to focus. Hey, somebody write it down. Put it in the comments so I remember that later. The frustration forced me to focus. Now, I don't want to be forced to focus anymore. I know it might happen, but the frustration forced me to focus on him. So, uh, you know what? I'm grateful to God for the process. I'm grateful for the space and the place. Uh, I'm grateful for his leading and his direction. I'm grateful. I'm just, I'm grateful to God. Because he is, uh, he really is amazing. I don't understand how he works uh, or why he works in a particular way. But what I do know is that it works out for my good. And it works out for his glory. Amen. Ooh. Yeah, God. I bless him. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. Hold on. I got to go live in a minute. Okay. But uh, y'all, y'all talk it out. Mull it over. Talk about it amongst yourselves. Huh? <clears throat> yes, we win. We absolutely do win. That was Kirk Franklin. Hello, baby, with We Win. And before that, we heard Kiera shared something has to break. Just some great music this morning, praising God, giving him the glory. And listen, I'm going to share with y'all what I just shared on, on uh, these uh, what is this? social media. There we go. Um, you know, as I was talking through what I've experienced this past week, um, what I came to, the realization I came to is that frustration forced me to focus on God. And uh, if you want to know, <laughs> where the frustration came from, all of that. You can tune into the live, watch the replay, tell me what you think. But, um, you know, sometimes in life, frustrations force us to focus on God, to remember that 
we win. And to remember that sometimes something has to break. Something has to break in our lives in order to uh, produce what God uh, has for us. And it has to it has to break in order for us to come forth as gold. It has to uh, break in order for the anointing uh, to pour out. Uh, it has to, what I'm not going to do is go preach on here. What I am going to do though is go on to this next song because I felt something right there. I'm going to tell the folks on social media. Y'all can watch it later. All right, here's Tori Kelly with Never Alone right here on the Ultimate Gospel Experience Praise 107.9. Hold on, y'all, because I felt something. I'm a, I'm a, uh, we, we about to feel this right quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, do this, do this right here, like this. Okay. <clears throat> let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me just make sure I, I uh, <laughs> I post all these things right, right. Okay. He knows how to get our attention. He certainly does, Salatheo. Oh my goodness. And bring us to a place he planned us to be. Yes, Miss Anita. Listen, there are times we might not understand what he's doing, how he's doing it, but he is doing a thing in us. He is working things out for his honor and his glory and for our good. And so there are places and spaces that sometimes we will be frustrated. But just remember that the frustrations force us to focus. Because we're frustrated. We're looking for all these answers everywhere. Like, okay, like I was in the hospital last week. <clears throat> I'm looking for the doctors to tell me what's up. They couldn't tell me nothing. Uh, they got a whole bunch of I don't knows and they could be's. And that was not, I was like, y'all, y'all got, y'all got all these degrees and all y'all got is a, it could be, man, listen. <laughs> God is truly amazing that he brought us to this place on this Sunday, February 13th, 2022, to remind us that the frustrations force us to focus on him. And so I couldn't look to the doctors for my answer. I can look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. I can look up and know that he is Jehovah Rapha, the God, our healer. So whatever might be going on and going wrong in here, it's fine because in my frustration, and I just signed frustration, any deaf people, frustration, uh, <laughs> in my frustration, <laughs> I was forced to focus on him. I bless God for the focus. I bless him. Uh, I bless him for this space and place. It's a fixed fight. We've already won. Satan is defeated. The Bible is proof. Amen. Amen. It is a fixed fight. It's it's a fixed fight. We've already won. The devil's already defeated. Yes, he is. Woo. Ah. I love when God confounds the docs so we so they don't have the answers. <laughs> it's in him he wants you to refocus on him. Yep. That's good. <laughs> thank you Salatheo. that's some good stuff right there that's, just, that's some good stuff well y'all are over my time but i my encouragement to you is that today is to allow the frustrations of life to shift your focus on him mine forced me to focus on him <laughs> and sometimes it'll do that just just focus on him. Let's start there. Just focus on him. <laughs> Put in your frustration. Shift. Rem remember who's in control. The, the doctors don't know everything. And they won't know everything. And you can be frustrated. The, you might not understand why a thing is happening at your job or whatever. But our frustrations for, for, force us to focus on him. So we focus on him this week. Amen. We set our affections above. And I will leave you with this. Use today to set the tone for your week. Speak God's promises over your life because they are yes and amen. Speak them out of your mouth so that you can hear yourself say it and everyone and everything around you can hear it as well. 
Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. I will see you all again next week. Enjoy your day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Listen, later on, let me know what you, what you got. I might need to swing by and get a plate. I really want some good uh, wings fried hard today. That That is my prayer. That's my prayer for some good hard fried hard wings today. Amen. While I watch the commercials and the halftime show. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Wait a second. Hold on. Praise him in the moment. Amen. That's what we'll do. And we're going to focus on the Father. So y'all make sure today you give him praise. All right. Even right now, as I sign off, give him praise and start naming the things that you're thankful for. All right. Y'all have an amazing week. I'll see y'all next week. I'm going to say goodbye to IG first. And by the FB, have an amazing day and week.